All right, here it asks us to write an equation of the line containing the given point 0, 4 and perpendicular to the given line 4x plus 3y equals 7. Here again, we're dealing with perpendicular lines, so let's recall something here that uh, if two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. And what we're interested in for this problem is that if two lines are perpendicular, then the slopes are reciprocals of each other and they have opposite signs. Now, the, the line that we're trying to write the equation for is perpendicular to this line. So if we know the slope of this line, then we just have to take the reciprocal of it and change the sign, and we'll know the slope of the line we're trying to find. So let's find the slope of this line. That's the first step in this problem, is to find the slope of the given line. And we do that by putting it in the form y equals mx plus b. And if we put it in that form, y equals mx plus b, the first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, subtract 4x from both sides. Which is, when we subtract 4x from both sides, we get 3y is equal to negative 4x plus 7. Then we're going to divide everything by 3, and that gives us y is equal to 4 over 3x plus plus 7 over 3. Now it's in that form, we can tell, whoops, we can tell that the slope of the line that's perpendicular to this, because remember that's what we started out being told, we're looking for the equation of the line that's perpendicular to this guy. Well, if this slope is negative 4 thirds, then the slope of a line that's perpendicular to this, well, it's going to have to be the reciprocal, so it's going to be three-fourths, and it's going to have to have an opposite sign. Well, this is negative, so the perpendicular line will have a positive slope. So the slope of the line that we're trying to find is a positive three-fourths. All right, the second step in the process is to take that slope that we just found and the given point, the zero-four that they gave us, and plug that into this form of the line. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Well, plugging in y minus y1, well, y1 is 4, is equal to m, which is 3 fourths, times x minus x1. Well, x1 is 0. So we simplify that. We get y minus 4 is equal to, well, x minus 0 is just x, so it's 3 fourths times x. And then we add 4 to both sides. We get y is equal to 3 fourths x plus 4. All right, so remember what we did. We found the equation of the line that was perpendicular to the original equation. So this is our answer.